my name's Will. And what we do at Quell is we help organizations reduce the risk of workplace violence. Now, I'm sure you've seen the title and it says customer service. Now, what I wanna talk a bit about is, well, customer service is actually sometimes some reasons why we have incidents. And what I mean is poor customer service, bad customer service, staff not realizing that even customers, uh, passengers, guests can have a really bad day. And sometimes getting past that, understanding them. Shall we say when we do our training, all of us, we have a tendency to say, well, let's have a look at how we can reduce the risk in the sense of we give shall we say, the customer or passenger, whoever that might be, our bad customer service experience, how can we rectify that? Can we show them levels of respect? Can we understand them? Can we communicate? Do we, shall we say, listen? That's the trick, isn't it? You think about it. Not being funny, listening and acknowledging what they've actually got a complaint about comes into it. So us at Quell, yes, we are a workplace violence company, but when we look at incidents, some of them are around bad or poor customer service. It's like, I can give you a quick example. Um, about a month ago, I was on an international flight coming back and uh, the customer service on the airline was unbelievable. It was, oh, it was so poor. I can honestly say I will never go back on that airline. To the point of where I sent them an email, um, a detailed email from my private account, so they don't know I'm working for Quell, explaining what went wrong, like the way the staff communicated, the way the staff allow passengers to do what they want, the way the staff actually disappeared for a period of time, a long period of time, and the, uh, basically the passengers went into the kitchen and were just rooting around looking for things, because I could clearly see them from where I was sat. And then it was peculiar, I mean there was, there was safety issues, and then I noticed other passengers that were basically like myself, abiding by the rules, um, we're getting very frustrated and getting very, shall we say, uptight because of the safety. But yet the staff didn't care. And then even when I sent my uh, detailed letter, email my apologies to the actual airline, um, it took them uh, just over three weeks to come back. And I read it there recently and uh, it was one of the most patronising, sarcastic and pathetic emails I've ever seen response through a complaint because I didn't actually intentionally run down the staff, I actually highlighted where things went wrong. And probably also to the point of where the staff were lucky that one of the passengers didn't actually assault them because of what they said to them. But yet this airline has the audacity to turn around and go, well, we're under pressure. Yes, everybody's under pressure, but it's still poor customer service. I, personally, will probably never use that airline again. I'll rather pay extra, to tell you the truth, because I was so disgusted. And if you know me, you actually know that, well, that's not like me. So when we're looking at, shall we say, customer service, you as an organization, have you not thought about, shall we say, just doing spot checks on staff? Checking on them that they're actually easily communicating with a customer, passenger, guest, member of public, whoever that might be. Shall we say, having team meetings about this subject? Don't necessarily, I'm saying, have training every uh, 10 minutes on it. I'm not saying that, I'm saying having conversations. Should we say rewarding staff if they do good customer service? Because any organization, irrespective of what you are, whether you're in the private, public or voluntary sector, you do not want your staff, shall we say, to be verbally abused, threatened, or worst case scenario that I do deal with is assaulted. So if you're a company watching this now, all I'd ask you to do is just take a couple of minutes now and again and have a conversation with your staff about customer service. Because if you want to reduce risks of workplace violence, if you want to protect your staff, if you want to get to a point of where, shall we say, you've minimized the risk of anything to do with where that could affect, obviously, your staff safety, perhaps it's worth taking a few minutes every now and again and just, shall we say, observing your customer service of your staff, how they tell, shall we say, how they deal with telephone calls, how they actually engage with the actual uh, public guests or whoever that may be, and then saying to yourselves, how can we improve on this? If you want any more information, there's plenty of videos on our YouTube channel. If you look at our LinkedIn, you will probably see there's quite a few instances that we put up, and if you look at a lot of the causations of it, it can be down to poor customer service. Thanks for watching, stay safe whatever you're doing, and let's hope you have a good day. Bye for now.